What up, Roofer? What up, Madame Star? Sorry I'm a little late. Damn, man, I was just like one minute short of showing you guys some crazy ass shit that just happened now. Looks like some crackheads got in a little fight, but nothing serious. They kind of just broke it up themselves and one ran the other way, the other one kept screaming at them. <laughs> But uh, welcome to Old Town Albuquerque, as we say, Albuquerque. All right. So uh, I've got an interesting day planned for you guys. Um, not only is Old Town just fun in itself to walk around, got a lot of cool shops, tourist stuff to check out, um, restaurants, things of that nature. And we've actually been here before. We came here during our summer collaboration. So a lot of you have probably seen the old town area with us uh we did the breaking bad store which if we have time we'll stop by but one thing that we did not check out when we were here last time in old town was a really cool museum now don't start with that oh museum it's gonna be boring trust me this is not just your normal little boring museum i'm not even gonna tell you what type of museum it is until we get there all right i don't want to get people all excited first i want to make sure that i have good coverage there before i even pay the admission because once i do I'm gonna take you guys with me, okay? What up, Clipper Chick? What up, Risa? What up, Roofer? What up, Jose Sanders? I did not check it out yet, man. I got your IG yet, though. I'll check it out here in a bit. Um, I'm limited on my, as you know, you know how it goes. I'm limited on my uh, battery usage, so uh, I will check it out later today, though. What up, Grunge Truck? Never been there. Where's it at? Or what state first? Might not even been to the state where that's at. But uh, no, I've never been to the Hershey's Chocolate Factory. I don't know if that was an inside joke or not. <laughs> All right, let me get you guys set up really quick. Give me a second. I just didn't want to be too late here. But uh, yeah, um, I'll just give you a hint. If you're into reptiles, you'll probably like where we're going. If you're not, you'll probably be kind of squeamish. But uh, I've never been, and I've heard it's a pretty... It got voted the best museum of the city, I think, last year. So that's pretty cool. All right, let me get you guys on the gimbal. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to check out another really cool store. Uh, and I'm going to leave that as a surprise for you guys, too. But uh, they've got all sorts of cool shit around here. So we'll see what we can get into. A lot of crazy people hang out around here. So, you know, I'm sure we'll run into a lot of that. All right. Let me just fix this gimbal. Ah, I don't like the way it's working. All right. Hold on. I got to straighten this. I shouldn't have started it like that's my fault. Give me one second. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to try to uh, just fix the gimbal really quick. Just take me a second. I just want to straighten it out a little bit better. This is going to be... There we go. Hopefully I didn't lose you guys. Uh-oh. Am I still there? <laughs> That's stuck on my face. <laughs> All right, hold on. Maybe hopefully it'll unfreeze. Huh. All right, there we go. There we go. Cool. 
All right, gimbal is straight now. It looks like we still saved the stream. So awesome. Well, before we start, I want to say a huge shout out to everybody that started us off yesterday with our gas fund donations, okay? So that was Darlene Valenzuela and a big shout out to ICU because for it had not been for those individuals or donators, we would not have day three of the homeless van, okay? Well, we would, we'd be in the homeless van, but we wouldn't have anywhere to go or any content, okay? Just be like another homeless, you know what, edition, okay? Not cracking, you know, not saying it's not cool to watch people just chilling in an RV or van all day, you know? But I'm sure you're going to get a little bit bored of just at least me. Now, hopefully today, um, we might hopefully get a guest or two coming over. I put the invite yesterday to all the Albuquerque streamers, any Albuquerque friends, haters, anybody that wants to come down and kick it in the van. Um, just hit me up on the IGs or through email, uh, and I'll let you know where the van's going to be parked. Um, as well as if you want to kick it in Old Town, we're here in Old Town. Come by. So... Uh, thank you again for those supporters because, again, had it not been for you, we would have been panhandling today. It's starting to get a little ugly. It would not have been a fun day to panhandle, okay? Or we would have had to go look for a job, which I'm saving for the very last if it's got to have to go that way. Which, hopefully it doesn't, right? This part of this simulation is to prove to the public and to other streamers and to other, you know, viewers that it does not require a lot of donations, does not require thousands of dollars to provide a good, awesome stream, um, as well as to maintain a life in kind of a homeless atmosphere and environment, right? So not a lot of money, not a lot of food, not a lot of gas, all right? Like we see most of our streamers nowadays, all right? So instead of being e beggar we're going to be a streamer, all right? And still live the homeless lifestyle. Hey, congratulations, Roofer. I can't see it on, you know, here. I just see everybody congratulating you, but almost one year, my man. You know why it's not a year? Because we haven't had a one year of that. So you've been here from the beginning. You are a freaking, what did we say, dude? We're, you're not even in the uh, OG group anymore. I had already nicknamed it. It'll come to my mind. Well, at this point, you're part of the family, so welcome. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let me get you guys with some uh, power and juice so we don't run out. That's the most important thing. Gimbal's nice and straight. Uh, you guys want a little quick tour of the uh, the van? I got it nice, you know, obviously in the, you know, we got it pretty mostly done yesterday, but in the dark, it was a little dark, hard, excuse me. So this morning I woke up and boy, oh boy, it was cold, man. I froze. So I just hid in my little man cave. I did like made a little man fort. Oh man, hold on. Let me adjust you guys. I forgot, I gotta work. I need to get a new cable because this cable's too heavy for my gimbal. It pulls it down sometimes. But um, yeah, I had to make a little man fort, little man tent. And I just hid in my man tent all night and froze. But we survived, all right? That's what's important. So uh, let me start from the back here. Uh, as promised, we do have a pretty decent sized bathroom. Uh, actually, let me just fix the uh, toilet seat really quick. I'll give you guys the tour during the day. All right, so you got this little door kind of privacy screen, which is, you know, the tube, the inner tube itself. But you've got a uh, toilet seat with your toilet bowl. You guys, you know, can probably figure how that works. Won't get too much into the uh, scientifics of that. All right. We've got a little uh, storage area back here. This is the entrance into the restroom. So once you're done, you can close that. Uh, I still need to work on a little privacy curtain. You know, for me, it's fine. It gives me kind of like a little view, like, you know, a little bathroom window. But uh, obviously, if we have guests, we'll have a little privacy curtain there. So we do have like, I wouldn't say full size restroom, but a half size restroom located in the back of the van. Uh, we've got a little, uh, you know, I would call this our uh, storage compartment here. It's got all our, you know, um, got uh, tow cables. We've got uh, jumping cables. We've got extra fluids, extra blankets, firewood. We've got my cool chair ready to go. If you know, you know. Now, this is the awesome part here, especially for our streamers. Look at this. Full-size streaming table, okay? We can accommodate up to three full-size chairs, 
three streamers all sitting here streaming at once. I've already got two chairs ready to go in case we have any guests. Uh, we even got a little area for any of our guests that may have pets. Okay, so we've got a little dog bed. Uh, we've got even a little pissing grass area for our dogs that, you know, just don't know how to piss outside. Uh, this also acts as a rug for the outside, you know, like a little welcome mat. Now, here's where the uh, kind of ingenuity comes into play, all right? I think that's the right word. So, at nighttime, this van can accommodate up to three guests, okay? One guest will utilize the table as a bed. You don't have a lot of headroom, so be careful sitting up. Another guest, this is where I slept here. Well, kind of. I did like a little man fort. Another guest will sleep underneath here. This is another bed here. And then, most likely, if you're inebriated and it doesn't matter, you don't need much, you know, good sleep and you're just going to pass out, uh, we can rock this passenger seat back and we'll just move what I've dubbed my closet. This is all my personal stuff, my gear. I'll just move to my seat. And then our third guest can utilize the passenger seat as a, uh, another bed. What up, E.T.? Yeah, I mean, we could have a definitely accommodate vegans, dog. Little bed. Uh, you know, I know I think her dog's a senior dog, so just in case she can't make it outside. Little piss, little piss pad there. You know, fake grass. Um, and like I said, even got a restroom, all right? No, no holding it. Nothing. One, well, if you got to go number one, that's outside. Number two, only in emergencies, we've got a number two uh, uh, accommodated restroom for you. Risa, I don't know if you remember this table, but this table is pretty heavy duty. This table actually acted as a floating device, pretty much a boat for myself when we were at the lake this summer. Uh, I also used this table to run while it was floating on the lake. I ran on this table and launched myself into a flying squirrel. And uh, so I would say this, this table can withstand probably about minimum at least 150 to maybe 200 pounds. Sicilian princess? I don't know at this point. We'll see how this simulation goes. <laughs> All right. So you guys ready to head out? Oh, wait, let me get my binky. Can't go anywhere without the binky. Uh, let's unplug this. Oh, I got to bring my gear bag with me. We're not going to leave that. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the best part. Well, actually, I'm not going to do that here because I don't want to advertise that I have a full-size sliding door. But we got a sliding door that, man, this morning was just lovely. Slid that right open. Just aerated all the nasty farts I blew in here last night. Welcome some fresh air inside. And it almost acts like a little patio, but pretty much if we do have guests, this is going to be the main entryway in and out. All right, let's get going. So I hope you guys enjoy the uh, the van tour. So homeless van edition. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let me just make sure I have my keys before I lock this bad boy. Got my gear bag. I got a poncho in case it rains. We're kind of in that weather where it's like can be really shitty like yesterday when it was snowing and the mountains got a little snow at the top of them. And then it's a nice beautiful day like this where it's, you know, shorts and t-shirts. So, but I'm prepared for both. All right. So let me just make sure I got my keys before I lock this up. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting to do. I love to do an East Coast tour. Only thing is, is um, I'm just be afraid to break down all the way in the East Coast because I'm probably not going to be able to afford to, you know, get my vehicle. At that point, that van would probably be done. So I guess it wouldn't be bad. I'd just fly back or take an Amtrak back. It'd just be difficult if I had the dogs with me because, you know, that can be hard transporting dogs, especially from the East Coast. But, yeah, I don't mind taking this on a long journey. And if it dies, it dies. If I can fix it, I fix it. If it's done, it's done. I'll tell you what, though. This van, I took this van when we did the um, our road trip tour to the, um, the haunted house. Remember when we did the uh, road trip and it was main 
attraction of that road trip is when we went to the Sally House, remember? To the Sally Haunted House Paranormal Investigation with me and Dawson. This went all the way from New Mexico to Kansas and back. Uh, let's see, I've taken this to the lake a few times uh, with you guys. Yeah, this van has been, it's, it's, it's done its duty. And I think it's still got plenty of miles left on it, but uh, it's definitely an oldie. Oldie but goodie, as they say. Yeah, no, I love to visit subscribers. That'd be super cool. Got a lot of friends on the East Coast, as a matter of fact. And a lot of friends on the West Coast. I am hopefully planning. It's in the works, maybe. I'm not going to promise anything. Possibly, maybe a summer tour. Um, I don't know where I'd be going. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me about going to the West Coast. But we've had a lot of people saying, yo, come back to the East Coast. So... All right, give me just one second here. Let me get situated. Lock this van up. That's the most important thing. Put you guys here. Put this here. Oh, man, see, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. There we go. But welcome, everybody, in the chat. Um, clumsy, I don't know if you're watching, I got your Instagram, but yes, I do, I know a lot of great ones. All right, just grab my keys here. Got them, all right, we got keys. As a matter of fact, there's about four of them right here within a mile of where I'm at. And one of them is one of my favorite here in Albuquerque. If that answers your question, my friend. <laughs> All right, we said we had keys. So we can lock this All right, we're good. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to see any of the 9-11 mo uh, memorials in uh, New York when I went there. But uh, definitely want to hit those up. We did go to the Statue of Liberty. Took you guys on a IR, well, as much as I could, which, believe it or not, I was pretty impressed. We made it all the way out to the Statue of Liberty on the live stream. Didn't lose any connectivity uh, just until we obviously went into the Statue of Liberty. When I think I went into the checkpoint is when I lost you guys. And, of course, that's because, you know, you're going right under all that, uh, you know, rebar, cement, all that stuff. All right, so here we go. Let's get going here. Thank you guys for your patience. Let me fix you guys up on this gimbal here. Let's get this battery here I'm gonna look all sick eh? it's a little inside joke if you're from here in Albuquerque <laughs> they've got a certain way that they talk up here in northern New Mexico that uh, gets memed a lot one of the words is all sick eh 
Allah, a lot of people here go, you'll hear it, you'll see it. And when we're talking to people, if we you know, have any interactions, you'll probably hear some people go, Allah, because here in the South Valley, which we're technically an old town, but we're really close to South Valley. That's where you'll see a lot of people that have that uh, Northern New Mexican kind of, uh, I wouldn't even say an accent, it's just its own little kind of uh, language, you can say. <laughs> All right, we got keys, we got wallet. Um, we got you guys on, let me make sure you guys are on juice. Yep, we're on juice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I gotta remember, yeah, we gotta go over here. We're gonna pass the Breaking Bad store, which on our way back, if we still got battery, we'll definitely stop in and check it out. If you guys didn't catch it when we went last summer, oh, it's a badass store. They've got a really cool area for like taking pictures and selfies and they've got a tons of memorabilia and collector stuff from the uh, TV show. All right, so I probably should do this the right way, but we're gonna just kind of jaywalk it here. Just gotta be careful about it. But let me make sure I got you guys off of Wi-Fi. Okay, so we don't connect any Wi-Fi spots. Clear this up. All right, cool. All right, let's see. I can kind of start crossing. Ah, damn it. Yeah, this is going to kind of... I might as... Ah, I don't want to walk all the way back there. Jeez Louise. All right, let's just be patient. It'll eventually clear up. But there is a lot of traffic here. And then even when I cross, I got this car that's going to try to turn too. So I got to be careful for that. All right, there we go. It turned, it turned, it turned, it turned. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's clear on the right, clear on the right. Let's go, clear on the left. Let's go, 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 go. Damn it. Now the right side gets busy. As soon as the left clears up, the right doesn't. Then you got people like this jerk that's just speeding to a red light. I hate when people haul ass to a red light. It's never made sense. Oh, now it's a green light, geez. Now we're gonna get all the traffic on the left. All right, if I can't cross this street in two minutes, I'm going to have to just walk to the crosswalk. <laughs> I'm not in the, I'm not going to try just running like a madman because I don't think I'm going to have the luck today. I'm not feeling it. All right, come on. Just people drive crazy in this town, man. All right, come on. Like this lady, I don't know, she doesn't even have her signal. I don't know if she's going to go left, right, left, right. All right, you kind of, oh my gosh, come on, please. Now I'm starting to get really impatient. All right, I'm crossing here. Let's go. Fuck y'all. Here we go, here we go. All right, we made it. <laughs> there we go. Woosa, woosa. All right, so here was the Breaking Bad store that I was telling you guys about. So like I said, on the way back, if we have some time, we'll stop in there again. Really cool store. Gift shop and museum is what the sign says. But welcome to Old Town Albuquerque. Really cool place, got a lot of history here. They got a really old church. As a matter of fact, Mama and Papa Quartz were married at this church a long time ago. So they say. No, I'm just kidding, I've seen the pictures. <laughs> All right, so. We're not even gonna have to walk too far here, but I'll, I'll take you guys. We'll go, we'll do like a little roundabout because where we're going is just right over there. But uh, I'll give you guys a little 360 where I'm at. So we just walked over from here and we're walking what, into what they call the main plaza, okay? So obviously a plaza is where you have a centralized park and around that centralized park, you usually have a church, you know, you've got, uh, stores a hotel i mean obviously this plaza has been turned into a tourist attraction but back in the days you know you probably had an old hotel here a saloon uh, all sorts of cool stuff so not sure the history of it as far as and we'll probably find a sign here that'll tell us how old the plaza is but uh let's walk around this way so i'll take you guys the long way It's a gorgeous day. A little windy, but nothing, nothing too bad. Got 
some flags up here. So we got our Albuquerque flag, state of New Mexico. Got our USA, we've got Mexico, and I think that's Spain. Because uh, Spain was actually known to have came over. I mean, that's what they call them. They, uh, the Pue they're the ones that uh, named the uh, Pueblo Indians and a lot of the Pueblos here in Spanish because they came in here in search of gold, which they did not find. They were in search of the uh, Coronado, was one of the main first explorers in search of the... Uh, so-called uh, city of gold which he never found what they did find was a bunch of pueblos up here in northern new mexico which they eventually colonized and eventually um, pretty much took over they introduced christianity to these uh native americans or pueblo indians um and sadly the pueblos became extinct now uh one thing though is is they said had it not been for the pueblo indians when coronado came over through new mexico at the time his him and his men would have not survived had it not been for them helping him with food and rations and things like that so and he didn't know there was going to be pueblos up here so he kind of was lucky because at that time when they ended up getting over here to northern new mexico they were pretty low on a lot of their stuff so they were lucky to run into the pueblo indians and um you know they kind of learned from each other and started trading but eventually you know the spanish came and they did colonize these uh indians and introduced christianity so little history there so this is the church here and here's the main plaza they've got a lot i mean this is a really big plaza in here so like i said if we get some time we'll walk around but uh the candy lady is over here Remember the candy lady? Went and got the uh, blue M-E-T-H candy. She's the one that did the uh, Breaking Bad prop candy. So here we go. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if I was right. Let's see if I was bullshitting. So here you go. Official scenic history marker. In 1706, New Mexico Governor Francisco Cuervo y Valdez founded the Villa de Albuquerque. Well, this is the history of Albuquerque, now spelled Albuquerque. Here, the Camino Real wound its way through a series of farming and ranching communities to a nearby ford linking the road to settlements on the west bank of the Rio Grande. Albuquerque retains its original plan with streets radiating from a central plaza, the 1793 San Felipe Church behind us, and the rectory remained from the Spanish colonial period in most historic buildings around the plaza. There we go. Here's our dates date from 1870 to about 19 early 1900 so what your 17th late 17th to early 18th cent or uh sorry late 19th to early 20th century so i think i was kind of right so this church dates back to 1793 the one behind us now obviously it's been restored so all right so let's move along. So I know a little bit boring. We're getting to the fun part here, I promise. All right. They've got these cool, I mean, they've got a lot of cool trading post shops around here. If you're looking for like uh, Native American jewelry, turquoise jewelry, silver jewelry, they've got it here. It's very similar to the plaza up in Santa Fe when we went. Uh, I would say the plaza in Santa Fe is bigger, but um, this is a really nice one too. Old Town Cafe is a really good spot to eat if you're ever down here. You got a lot of the um, vendors and artists will put their stuff out here. This is kind of how they used to do it. So back in the old days, uh, the, you know, when the plaza existed, um, this is how a lot of the vendors would be selling. So you'd see the Pueblo Indians out here with all their, you know, either selling, you know, food, rations, jewelry, beads. A lot of them just working on site so really cool all right so i think we're getting close to where i'm supposed to be at let's see where are we going gorilla graphics is here i know it was next to gorilla graphics all right i think we're getting close to it all right let's see old town emporium chili patch i'm just gonna go right here if it's not here then it's right over in that little that little cut as our little buddy would say what up nanny paws hey no worries i appreciate you taking the time out of your day uh here it is i found it all right so 
we're going to let these people take some pictures and then I will show you the front end. I've never been here before, so I'm brand new to this. So I have no clue what they have in here other than what I just, you know, read about on Google. But I'll give you a clue. Ready? Like I said, I said reptiles, right? I think these are reptiles. Oh, they do have reptiles, but we are here at the Rattlesnake Museum and Gift Shop, ladies and gentlemen. All right? So this is home to a, what I was told a pretty badass rattlesnake museum. I think I told you guys this yesterday, so maybe it wasn't a surprise. But here we are. So we're going to go check it out. So let's read about this really quick before we go in. Rattlesnake Museum, the largest live collection of different species on public display in the world. Hey, there we go. The Rattlesnake Museum is an animal conservation museum displaying a greater variety of species than the San Diego Zoo, the Bronx Zoo, the National Zoo, the Philadelphia Zoo, the San Fran Zoo, and the Denver Zoo all combined. Combined. Not just for kids, an exciting and educational experience for the entire family. Myths are explored, phobias cured, uh-oh, and mysteries revealed at the must-see museum of the Southwest. A wonderful way for your family to share in this fascinating, mysterious, and misunderstood corner of the animal kingdom. A detailed presentation is available for the serious adult visitor, and an informative video will thrill visitors of all ages. Come on in. Rare and unusual specimens such as this albino western diamondback help us appreciate the diversity of one of nature's perfect predators. Ask for your certificate of bravery. Uh, you know I'm going to ask about that. All right, they got me already interested. Let's go. All right, let me get my wallet ready. That way I'm not fumbling through a bunch of stuff. Borrow this here. I think, I'm pretty sure I saw they charge admission. So again, thank you guys for everybody's support yesterday because now we're here. We get to do some fun IRL. And we got a little bit of gas money to keep going. To keep on going. And we got a little bit of some toiletry items yesterday. Little food. I slammed that electrolyte drink this morning, which was nice because I'm sure I was depleted of electrolytes by this morning. And it was nice and cold left it outside on the table and it was freezing so that that was a uh, natural fridge in the van which wasn't too much fun for me all right here we go got the nj quartz card i guess i can put this in my wallet all right let's do this interested in uh, going to check out the museum if okay. it's available. Okay. So one adult? Yes, ma'am. It is 964. Okay. I can Here's your ticket. Pay okay. with debit. There you go. Alrighty. You can tap or insert it however you like. Okay. Oh, cool. Certificate bravery. We were reading about this outside. Oh, okay. Do you remember what your ticket is good till five o'clock this evening? So okay. you can roam around old town. You want to come back and show us your ticket and you get to go back. Oh, there. great. Go to the exhibit. Uh, yes, if you don't okay. mind. Thank you for asking. Uh -huh. That would be great. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm sorry. There you Just go. Space you're good there. To Thank go. you. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Oops, I almost forgot my certificate. All right. So, show you guys around the store a bit and then we'll go in and check it out. Sculpture there, really cool. But, all right, I'm gonna kind of squeeze through. Yeah, they got a lot of cool stuff. All right, let's go check it out. 
Ooh, they got some cool hats. I like those snake hats are cool. Definitely get the diamond. Ooh, the rattlesnake one's cool. Look at this one. That's cool. All right, let's go check this out. You're welcome. Oh yes, we'll definitely get some stickers. You know we'll have to get a sticker from here. So we're going to hang out here in the, I heard it was kind of a really tight little museum. So we're going to hang out here in the front for a bit. So we'll let the people in front of us kind of get in front. So let me show you guys what we got here so far. Uh Oh, it says I turn back if I were you. Oh, dude, taxidermy rattle would be sick, roofer. There's a taxidermy dinosaur. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we'll, here's our first snake. Oh, I guess you can get this poster right there. Ah, but what we have here is an Eastern Diamondback snake. There you go. And that is real. Man, that thing, dude, that's why I'm afraid of these things. They are so, these things are just huge. Look at that thing just laid out flat. Oh man, they've got these cool skulls. All right, let me get some more. I need some more leverage here. All right, there we go. So they've got these reptile or gator skulls. Okay, so that was her first little buddy. What do we got in here? This is called a Great Plains Skink. Largest skink in the United States is about 11 inches. So this must be kind of a small little thing. Oh, there it is. All right, let me put my card back into my pocket there before I lose it. Yeah, there it is. So that's called a Great Plains skink. Dude, look at this. <laughs> Look at my hand compared to this. What the fuck is this? Crocodile or frog? This is insane. What the? This is what? It, hold on. What is this from? What the fuck? Oh, is this a fossil? Oh, that is a fossil. Wow. Look at that is a fossil. This giant fossil crocodile was discovered in 1990 in a phosphate mine in Polk County, Florida. It is considered the largest, most complete example of its genuine ever found of its genus ever found, and it is estimated to have been 32 feet long. So, could you imagine a 32 foot long crocodile, dude? That is sick. So that is a fossil, okay? Look how complete it is. That's amazing they found it like that. If you're into fossils, you'll appreciate something like this. Holy, the gavial, also called the Indian garile, garile, is one of the largest, up to 23 feet, and most unusual of all the crocodilians. Well suited for their preferred diet of fish. We won't read all of it, but. That thing's pretty gnarly, so I guess that does still exist. Never seen one of those. Holy crap, dude, they got all sorts of stuff here. Oh, what? Man, we might have to, ah, oh, wait, ah, I don't have any, yeah, I do have a dollar, I have to get, yeah, we, oh, it's out of order, man. Okay, we're just gonna look at names now and check it out. Welcome everybody in chat. We're here at the Rattlesnake Museum, if you're wondering. Which it said outside is one of the only in the whole world as far as having the most amount of specimens of its likeness. More than all your major zoos, including the Bronx Zoo and the, all the Philadelphia Zoo combined. So banded rock rattlesnake, where is this bad boy? It's gotta be small. I'm all like afraid it's gonna pop out at me or some shit. I bet you it's behind that rock. 
Oh shit, it's right there. Damn it, you guys, why didn't you why didn't you show me? Oh, is it buffering? All right, roofer. I don't know if it'll hopefully it'll it'll fix itself. Because there's not much I can do unless they have free Wi-Fi here. Let me see. Here we'll stand back over here for now. Go in and out, so just bear with me. It's going to be kind of like when we we're at the uh, animal park feeding the animals. So there it is. Oh, that's a tiny little one. All right, that's kind of cute. So now we have a molt, a molt, a molt. Oh, I can't say that. Molt lid on these. Honestly, that would be pretty cool right there for some like military BDU camouflage pattern right there. That's sick. That's a cool snake. What do we have here? This is called, ooh, a timber rattlesnake. Ooh, look at it, it just finished shedding too. It's right there. Ah, oh, dude, these snakes are sick. Look at this one. Just looking, all of them are just looking at us, just mad dogging us. Look at its eye. It's got it barely open right there. You see it? I will be there live. Gotta spread the word in my phone. Hey, what up, Cassandras? Hey, for sure. I'm not I'm tr using my uh, silent voice, but um, definitely I'm in Old Town right now. If you want to meet me down here or meet me at the van, whatever, hit me up. All right, so let's keep looking. This reminds me of like uh, one of those Western, you know, um, freak show <laughs> exhibits. Old Adobe, you have like the old, uh, what do they call these? I forgot there's a name that they call these. Roofer probably knows. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh. Wow, okay. What is this stuff? I guess this is some artwork, some glasses. Oh, okay, some collector glasses, I see. These are pretty, I guess, for uh, mixing up some like snake concoctions. Ooh, what else? I don't know about this stuff, man. Rattlesnake is glassware. This is dope. So I guess they made it's a glassware collection and it's made to look like poison glasses. You know what I mean? The Institute in Chicago served in the U.S. Army during World War II as a Russian interpreter. He is best known for his signature glassware and dishware produced in the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s. His signature collection was carried at noted department stores such as Neiman Marcus. George George's Breyer died at the age of 88 in New York City, July 30th, 2005. Well, I'll tell you what, if I had the money, if I was like a millionaire, I would totally buy this guy's collection. It's my style right here. Uh, so I'm uh, Cassandra's life. I'm in uh, Old Town. I'm at the Rattlesnake Museum, which is like um, the... Southeast corner of the plaza, I believe. All right, let's go see what else we. There are rattlers around, but All right, what is this? There's a python in here. Oh, that scared me. Okay. I was like, whoa, uh, something got out. Not having a loud warning, of course, makes a snake. Got a lot of cool shit here. All right, let me zoom out of here. What is this stuff? Oh, Rattlesnake, Florida. Okay, it's talking about... Hey, there you go, roofer. <laughs> Do we got one that says roofer on it? <laughs> I remember you said you like to collect those sheriff's badges. All right, what do we got in here? Okay, a rat snake. All right, let's see if we can find the rat snake. Let's see if you guys can find it. Let's see. Oh, rat snake. Oh, there. No, no, no. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Ooh, a scorpion. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at the scorpion. Let me zoom out, then I'll zoom in. So it's right there. That's right. Hmm. Saying my thing's kind of overheating. I might have to take you guys off the gimbal just in case it does. I don't want it to overheat yet. Whoa, look at this one. This one's doing some shit right there. Great Plains Rat Snake. 
Yo, is this thing trying to get out? Yo, help. <laughs> hey, hey. I see you. Thank you so much. I see you with the $20 donation. And it says, let's assume we don't. We will definitely put that towards some gas money and let us fix this dono goal here. Thank you so much. If it's in a day or two, then we can go over to, I told you, I'm not going to give you, it's a really cool place, but I can go to that place I was telling you guys and surprise you guys. But either way, we're still going to have fun. It's about having fun and testing out the experiment. What is this? A Pecos rat snake, all right? Gopher snake? Where is that gopher snake? Ooh, this one's cool. Look at this one. A <laughs> roofer. <laughs> See, that's when I need my sound effect board. Boom. All right, what do we got up here? A corn snake. All right, where are you? Ooh, that one's got really cool colors. Look at. Now, they gave us this thing here that says Certificate of Bravery for showing little to no hesitation. Legend of the Influence. Okay, we'll, fi we'll read that when we finish. Roofer, here you go, bro. This is the best I think we can do as far as taxidermy for you, dude. <laughs> Will that work? <laughs> Actually pretty cool, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, let's keep on moving. Uh-oh. Ooh, they've got a huge kind of exhibit for um, Steve Irwin. I'm assuming the owner was a Steve Irwin fan. Wow, dude, look at that. Jeez, I didn't even know he had so much merch. The Outback 4x4 truck, dude, that thing's legit, look at. That was when they made really good toys. I bet you this is like late 90s mid to late 90s because look at man holy crap what the fuck they got this guy on everything water bottles plush dolls matchbox look at even's got his own matchbox helicopter i guess i never watched this show the crocodile hunter Ooh, that's pretty dope old school lunchbox with the old school Vizio TV. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Mad TV. It's a hippopotamus skull. Whoa, whoa. This is a green tree python. This is cool right here. Look at this one. Whoa. Let's see. I'd say that's about a foot. I would say at least six feet. Yeah. Hey, ICU. Um, I'll, I'll go by there and go a little slower so you can check out some of the some of the collectibles they had. They have a lot of stuff, especially since you're a fan of Ir Steve Irwin. All right, here we go. This is a Mojave rattlesnake. So now we're starting to get to some of the species that you'd find here in New Mexico. What up, Assassin Bug? AKA one voter. I still think Assassin Bug's one voter, but. I don't want to start sounding crazy like Ski Mask. Look at that thing. All right, now we got a bigger one. Whoa. This is a red diamond rattlesnake. This one looks like they're way bigger than what they look like in the, the video. Voter, I don't think would even, ooh, what the hell? Look, yeah, they got a giraffe. That's kind of spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Got a, ooh, these are pretty cool. These are like little, um, I guess, little ivory pieces. A neck up. <laughs> Don't say it in chat. Don't say it in chat. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Hey, hey, look at, there's a good example of that Choya wood, see? 
you can use that choya wood in, in uh, these enclosures. So this is a gray-banded king snake, the first of four New Mexican species of king snakes on exhibit. Find all four in this room, all right? Well, it's got a pretty distinctive pattern on it. Wow, that's a beautiful. It might be buffering, Risa. We're kind of smack in the middle of a um, adobe room, so it might buffer a bit. But I'll try my best to keep moving. Whoa, are these real? Oh, wait. Oh, these are fake. Okay, that scared me. I thought these were real. I was like... How are they all sitting there all, <laughs> all so well behaved, but they're fake. All right, what do we got down here? This is a Western Masuga. I've gone through here plenty of times. I've gone through here plenty of times, and I've gone through here plenty of times. They've got it in the Missouri area, a little bit in the, what, uh, southern southeast corner of Colorado there it is a little tiny guy oh, look at this <laughs> this dude's just chillaxing I found the other one I bet you that's another whoa look at these ones is that fake or real oh that I think that's a fake one there but that's a real one oh uh, no it doesn't have the same pattern almost looks like it Dude, this little dude's just chillaxing. That's a tiger salamander. Oh, there's another one right there. Alright, so now we're starting to get into some of their, like, uh, I guess collectible stuff. Here we go. All right, wait, what were you saying about something there? One voter, assassin bug. <laughs> Did you know that if you suck the venom from a rattlesnake bite, you will still die? <laughs> All right, what do they got? Ooh, there you go. Bed bug poison. I like these old, I was hoping when we went out to that bottle graveyard cemetery that we would find some of these type of bottles, like whole. I was dreaming, obviously. Here's some more of these cool medicine bottles. These were what I was trying to find out there, but uh, well, maybe we found some broken. We found some ones that were kind of square shaped like that. I remember I have one like that. It's the side piece, just like that, that side right there. That was a nice one that we had found. Here you go. Here's some of your old elixirs. This is a uh, this is your uh, ski mask Andy of the uh, the back in the days. <laughs> Do you think if ski mask could uh, if ski mask uh, was born in the early 1800s, he would have been a uh, what do they call them? A, a snake. Um, they have a name too, like the the medicine, you know, the scammers, the snake, snake, you know, the snake poison. Drink this snake oil. There you go, the snake oil sellers. I have some magical snake oil. It will fix all your health issues. I promise. With the old ski mask promise comes with it. <laughs> oh, here's that stuff. Here you go. Habus. This is snake wine. Habusaki. Best known in Okinawa. $160 per bottle imported in the US and are very hard to obtain so if you can find one of these I guess you're drinking on some snake wine Ugh. has anybody ever drank any of this snake sake $160 a pop huh oh look at that that was kind of like it wasn't like that but it, it was it, I don't I bet you that one piece we got was a like a medicine bottle I want to say it was all right what do we got over here this is the uh, owner here is a uh, a collector of all sorts this is my type of collection here got a little bit of everything got some comics air boy <laughs> Ooh, 
These are cool, man. This is like the stuff I like to collect here. That like old school horror. Oh, this isn't like horror movie, but you get it. It's kind of that same reptilian, the invasion of the reptilians, the crocodilians. Snake. Oh, yeah, there you go. Assassin bug, please. Um, give me a fact about snake oil. You must have one. Ooh, a Black Widow. There you go. Black Widow channel, where are you at? <laughs> there you go, screenshot. Super Oofer, I was just thinking the same thing. That's why I chuckled when I saw that. I was like, man, if Ski Mask was a comic, that would be it right there. Ooh, they've got some Black Widow cider. Here you go. Shout out to Black Widow if they're in here. Black Widow channel. Black Widow Kiss Hot Sauce. Black Widow Fireworks. Ooh. That's a pretty cool stamp. I didn't know they had a Black Widow stamp. Yeah, that's... I've actually seen a bigger one. I've killed a bigger one. I better not say that. Oh, that's pretty dope. Got some... Um, Native American pottery. Ooh, what is this? Don't tell me Coca-Cola did a snake version. What is this about? Why do they have the Coca-Cola bottles there? Let's read about that. I'm going to have to read about that. Especially since we were just at the Coca-Cola Museum. What is this talking about? Come on. see anything i don't think it has anything to do with snakes oh it's got the guy's name geoff peterson craig ferguson i got it they just spelt the name with the they ordered like the customized soda bottles i got it i thought that i was like please don't tell me coca-cola did like a collaboration with snake oil fill the bag oops i have a feeling we're getting kind of towards the end of the exhibit this is where they try to sell you all the stuff Ooh, we got to get a sticker though definitely getting a sticker I think that we can work in the budget because usually stickers aren't too much. Ooh, these are little. And you see this. Would you think that's real right there? All right, here we go, Assassin Bug. Well, fun fact snake oil is used by women who cannot secure a man, so they use it to make potions. That's how scared a kid. <laughs> I thought that somebody dropped a little, you know what? We'll just leave that there. We'll leave it there and see if we scare anybody. We'll see if somebody thinks it got out. What do you think? All right. Well, Rufer, you're a pretty smart dude. Now, think if you were Ski Mask, all right? Let's think if we're like, a, put ourselves in the mind of Ski Mask, all right? You're coming down the hallway. Do, 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 do. Gonna get me a PBJ sandwich, poking up. I think it would work. Ooh, look, this one they call a glossy snake. It's pretty glossy. I don't know if you guys can see the shine, but it shines. We can go harvest choya wood if we have to and slang it to all these reptile people. Oh, this is a cool enclosure. I like this one. Look, it's got the little fake little dinosaurs. Whoa, Ooh, look at this thing. That thing was right at me. What is this? A Western, oh, that's what, it's. it had like a weird nose to it too. And that's why it's a Western hognose snake. It's got like a kind of a blunt nose. You see it from the side is where you can see it best. So, <laughs> Sassin bug? I don't think so. I don't think my haters would be that, they're pretty cheap. I don't think they would spend the money to, to bot me. I, I might actually have just finally made it in the IRL scene. I don't know. Am I, is, are people finally getting tired of just watching people sitting on couches and begging? I don't know. Aw, oh, here you go. Look at ornate box turtles. Little turtles all sitting on each other. Hey, get off of them, dude. Get off of them. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to get an exit sign. 
Ba-dum-ch. Dangerous curves, get it? <laughs> Dude, these are pretty legit though. I might have to come back here and get me one of these for my nephew. I think he'd like this, or he might be scared as shit at one of these. Alright, what do we got in here? Ooh, a Gila monster. Whoa! This is cool. Check this out. An OG Gila monster. You guys ready? Look at this. They are the heaviest lizard in the U.S., usually attaining a length of 16 to 20 inches. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Ziotic, are you out of jail now? I've already been to NYC, dude. And I walk through there like I own the place, man. No problemos. And I'll go back and do the same thing. As a matter of fact, you can catch my live stream when I walk right in. I was wondering where you were. That's what I'm saying. You must have finally got out of jail. Imagine being an idiot and going to jail for uh, the uh, capital thing. <laughs> you didn't even do anything. See, that's why I know I'm not botted. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at this lamp. <laughs> All right, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Just in case I do go to NYC, I don't want to leave in a wheel. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Yeah, look at... Like, whoa, what is all... Oh, these... That's old school. What do we have here? It's all balled up, I guess. That's why they call it a ball python. There. This is a great bait. I think this is the one that they said was rare. Stickers. This is a modern-sized whale bird. All right, let's go outside then. Because we can walk back in here. So that's it. Okay, square room, then we come back out here. All right, cool. I'll take your time. No, I didn't want to. Thank you. Excuse me. All right. Oh, we didn't even get our... Oh, I don't have a nickel. Hopefully you guys come back. See you later, alligator. We're good. I don't want to, you know, have you guys buffering, so. But it looks like when I went towards the very back is when you guys started buffering, which is probably like the... Oh, Sunshinery, did you mess it up? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're in the... We're back into the store. All right, let's get a sticker, a sticker, a sticker. Ooh, a replica claw. Okay, let's go to stickers. Dude, these hats are legit, though. I like these hats. It's the embroidery that I like because it pops. Wow, this one's cool. Yes, stickers, stickers, stickers. I think those are going to be over towards the register. That's usually where they put... Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to be forever ingrained with a memory of ski mask and a dream catcher <laughs> all right let's go see if they got i didn't even see those there all right let's go over and check them out they got them all on a wall let's go check them out they've got a bunch i can already see them oops yeah i guess they are Hey, thank you. We just got a donation, ten dollar donation. You guys know what to do in chat. Spam those gavels if you got them. All right, there's the stickers. All right, I'm gonna definitely use that towards some sticker or stickers if we find one that we can't be decisive. Be one, so I'm just gonna say thank you. All right, no, these are big ones here. So let's see. So I'm kind of running out of room on the laptop, so I'm kind of going for smaller ones. Let's see. They've got the caution ones. Ooh, they've got a bat. Hmm. Let's see. I'm having to use the phone so I can zoom in because I don't have my glasses. Let's see here. Here, or you can do it at home. Um, we can just do it at home, but yeah, we'll. Or the danger rattlesnake. Oh, dude, that'll be perfect. Instead of an exit sign, we can do, yeah. That's what we'll do. I have a snake tattoo. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. 
So I'm going to get a small one for the laptop of the Rattlesnake Museum. And then I'm going to... Hold the time. Yeah, you time. i got to vacuum my... Or which one should I do? Rattlesnake transport, rattlesnakes on board, or live rattlesnakes? i got to count beans. <laughs> Ooh, I must have been buffering bad. I lost everybody. Whoopsie. <laughs> Hopefully people will come back. That was cool. Definitely a cool place to check out. Uh, I guess there's a line, so let me get in line really quick. I didn't want to cut. Our three for... Oh, those are pretty cool. Rattlesnakes on board. They're all really cool. Live rattlesnakes, rattlesnakes on board. Damn it. Let me get my wallet out. Well, thank awesome you very much. much. Thanks Thanks see you at the bookstore in Columbus. I'm doing it right. <laughs> I'll see you. You go there? Oh, yeah. 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 And it's an old German village, so it's kind of good food oh, there, too. That sounds fun. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Um, I was going to get a, a sticker, too. Um, I like the small one with your... How much is that one again? 80? Yeah. I was going to say, dang it. I really like yeah, that we'll one. Give you a deal. Hey, Two, thank you. You're a good guy. Well, I appreciate that. Now, the one that I'm having trouble with is one of these funny ones here. Okay. I was asking some of my friends which ones they like. Why rattlesnakes or rattlesnake on board? And that'll be it. Thank you. I appreciate your help. I couldn't tell. She's doing a great job. If, it's, if I mess up, it's his fault. <laughs> it really is. I will probably end up crushing those up without one. Thank you. Don't want that. Nope, nope. You're going to say, you bought us new <laughs> I'm going to put this in there too. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's what I was exactly was trying to on that okay. one. Thank you. Your Welcome. help. Thank you, you so much. You Thank day. you. You as well. Thank you. All right. So, all dogs welcome. So, isn't that cool? They let dogs in there. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So, there's another cool place here I want to take you guys to. Um... All right, where were you going to go to? Oh, it's on this other side. Yeah, this place is cool. I haven't been there yet either. I'm excited to check it out. Now, obviously, we've tapped out on our stickers as far as budget for some little fun stuff. Because um, where we're going to go to, they sell puzzles. But it's a puzzle store that sells custom, custom puzzles. And I want to see what this is all about. And they have puzzles from all around the world, all different style of puzzles. Um, they have puzzles that you get to play with and stuff there that's interactive um, That guy's probably mad because I just jumped in front of his car for no reason <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing Got a little distracted. All right, but I think it's on this other end here But uh, let me show you I went ahead and got the sticker that says rattlesnakes on board We'll see when we spook anybody with that one <laughs> No, that was, a, that was a pretty good deal. Two really big stickers for eight bucks. I'm happy with that. All right. Is the uh, stream doing better now? Hopefully it'll be better in the, uh, hopefully it'll do good if we go by the Breaking Bad store. Which we should be able to do because we've still got 60% juice. Cool. Hell yeah. Alright. Yeah, thanks for, Rufer, thanks for letting me know. 
and mods about the lagging. I think when we went into that last room, it just got too, too bad. Here, let me sit down here really quick and kind of adjust my gear. Ugh. That's the one thing though I'll say is that museum is, uh, it's got a lot of stuff, but it's very tiny and uh, it's kind of hard to maneuver in there. But hey, I did it with a huge backpack on, so it's not too bad. Yeah, see, because without you guys, I wouldn't know. So I appreciate y'all mods. All right, let's see what I got. That lady was super nice. She wrapped up all my stuff for me really nice. All right, let's check it out. She put my certificate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. That's the one thing I learned is with these gimbals, you got you can't use these uh, heavy duty power trick cables even though I like them because they these I'll tell you what this power cable I've had has lasted the longest of all my power cables but unfortunately it is a little heavy for this gimbal it pulls down the phone all right here we go so first sticker I got was just one this is going to be the one I put on the laptop I might even raffle the uh, not raffle but I might even um give away the other sticker like as another giveaway we'll see I kind of do like them both but this one I'm definitely going to keep right here American International Rattlesnake Museum, Albuquerque. That one, you know, shows where we were at. That one will go on the, lap to the laptop. Then we got this one here. Yeah, I know, Roofer. <laughs> then we got the Danger Rattlesnake on board, which, you know what, I think for my van will look really cool because it does look like some, you know, Rattlesnake Hunter van, you know what I mean? So... <laughs> all right let's continue our journey let's go to this puzzle shop then i don't want to lose any um bat more battery than i have to all right but we're doing good it's it's charging and it's at a uh, slow charge which means what all right And hopefully this wind breeze is going to, uh, why is it doing this? There we go. Hopefully this breeze is going to cool down the phone a bit. All right, here we go, here we go. I think it's on this other side. I know, I think the candy lady was down over here, if I wasn't mistaken. What do we have here? Oh, socks. <laughs> Are you still lagging because of that? But I was on Wi-Fi, so it was hooking up to, maybe it was hooking up to a Wi-Fi inside. All right, so I shut Wi-Fi off completely. Dude, Roofer, thank you for looking out. So you know what? We'll try and go back to that museum and see once we get done and see if maybe that was it. I mean, if you guys saw enough snakes, then we don't need to, but I mean, I might go back because... There's still a few other cool things, but I don't know if that was it. I think that was more the Adobe. But now I'm completely off of Wi-Fi. We're on my data. I was picking up a strong Wi-Fi signal though from whatever I was picking up because with my um, data package, I get some like, I don't know what company, I think it's Xfinity hotspots it picks up. But now we're on data. All right, I think this place should be, keep going down, keep going down. Billy the Kid. What do you mean Billy the Kid? Where's Billy the Kid? What up, Zero's Nightmare? Yeah, when you can get on some of them and they just amped them up recently. I got an email saying uh, they amped them up so the download and upload speeds are quicker on them supposedly. So, yeah, I'll take them. All right, so here's the candy lady. 
So I don't know. Let me. I'm going to keep going down just a tad bit. I may have passed it, but I don't think so. But yeah, this is where uh, we went to. Remember, here's the Breaking Bad candy lady. So again, she's the one that did the prop candy for the Breaking Bad series. And then she, it's just which, aka, it's just your typical rock candy, if you guys are familiar with that. But she's got a little secret to it that makes it look very, very real. You know, that's why they went to her. You know, I guess they could have probably just made their own if it was that easy. There's a dispensary right across from us. Ooh, speaking of a dispensary, I think we'll definitely take a little, uh, a little, little, uh, puff of the old, uh, binky. All right, let's walk around here really quick. If it's not in this plaza, then I passed it and we just got to walk back. When they got eights at eights starting at 15 bucks hell yeah that's a good deal eight starting let's see at that one place we went to the uh, monster place well now they were having a deal the day we went on um for um uh what was it jesus i'm having a brain fart saint patty's day sale but either way they sell three dollar grams i think so let's see, three times three is nine, plus half of three is 150, that's 1050. So technically they'd still have cheaper ace, but that's a pretty good deal because that's shake though, for that price. But they have half ounces here for 60. We were able to get a, two ounces for 60 on that deal. Hell yeah, roofer. Cheers to that. <laughs> but yeah, that's this place here, pure life. All right, so let's see if this puzzle store is down here. Look really cool. Because they have like puzzles you can play there too. So it's like an interactive store is what it's called or something like that. It's really look fun. Now, I'm not, you know, obviously uh, I'm not a puzzle person. Um, you got to be kind of smart for that, I think. No, I'm just kidding. All right, I don't see it. This place looks kind of... Not where I would think the puzzle place. Yeah, so we passed. It's just down here. Oh, we still need to go for a good walk, man. I sat in that van freezing all night, so I need to get the blood going. 12 days to the eclipse. You know what's cool is I remember at the balloon fiesta last year, we did the eclipse. Remember the eclipse came out that same week we're at the balloon fiesta? We actually went down the balloon fiesta park to watch the eclipse. That was super cool. But yeah, got another one coming up here very soon. You are correct. All right. There we go. up guys barber shops called headquarters get it oh by the way who the fuck cut ski masks hair this last time holy crap and does he really think that thing doesn't look fucked up or something because <laughs> oh my god all right so I think it's gonna be down over here somewhere. I think we're gonna be getting close to it. Dream catchers, dream. Ooh, that one's cool. Look at these dream catchers here. That's like a 3D catcher there. Yeah, no, I had a blast at the balloon fiesta. I thank you guys for joining me. That whole week was fun. We went down in the um I think yeah, we did wait, did we go? Yeah, no, we did go down. That's when we had the van all um all uh, decked out for Halloween, I think. Yep. And then while we were down there, not only did we do the balloon fiesta, we went to that McCall's, um, or I think, no, 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 what was it? The McCall's Haunted Farm or whatever. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a really fun week. Look at the old adobe. Love adobe, man. 
Love Southwest architecture. All right. So I have a feeling it's somewhere over around this area. Let's go down here. I didn't go down here, so let's check. There's the Billy the Kid trading post. I saw the sign for that. Blue Moon Marketplace. Milagro. No. All right. I may have to just ask somebody. Yeah, I totally recommend it. If you ever want to visit New Mexico and it's going to be your first time, you want to make... I mean, it's nice anytime you come. That's the great thing is Mexico's got great seasons. They're pretty mild. Summer can be hot depending on, for, you know, where you're from. But um, if you do come down, I totally recommend coming down during the balloon fiesta time and definitely checking that out. And I'll tell you this. I mean, if you enjoyed it just watching it on my stream... It is a hundred times better to see it in person. Like, it's a totally different experience. I'm not even kidding you. Now, the only other thing I can think of is maybe it's across the street, but it's, I don't think so. I'm keeping my eyes out both ways. Looking both ways. Looking both ways. Albuquerque Photographer's Gallery. All right, well, that's certainly not it. There's the Indian Gallery. There's another place here. Let's see. I didn't check these plots. Let's see. Please be here. Oh, it's here. It's here. I see it. It's called. This is where it's at. So this is where we're going. What up, Cassandras? Yes, you can vouch for that. Absolutely. The best balloon festival. So this is where we're going. So yay, we found it. Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to take another little rip before I go in. Which probably not going to help with the brain farts. Especially if I'm going to be trying to solve puzzles. I got a lot. These are pretty cool. Look at this peacock. This is cool. This cactus. Metal cactus work. Alright. This shop looks pretty interesting. A lot of these shops will have a lot of the same stuff, you know, but they're really nice. I mean, each shop's very unique, but Santisma Art Gallery. Looks like they got a lot of cool stuff here. Ooh, yeah, really cool. Please no photo slash video, so we can't go in there. But they look like they got a lot of cool stuff. All right, smoke signals. Hell yeah. Peace pipes, music, leathers. Let's see what these pi peace pipes look like. I actually have one of these at home. My dad got for me at a, a Native American trading post. It's a really nice one too. It's made out of antler. And I'll tell you what, as tempted as I've been, I always smoke at it, but I never did. All right, so there it is. Puzzled, I'm puzzled, I'm puzzled, and I'm puzzled, and I'm muzzled with a puzzle. Let's solve a puzzle. I want to hustle. Solve me a puzzle. I can't even rap and it sounds like crap. All right, let's go. Is this the, no, that's not the entrance. I guess that's part of the puzzle, right? You got to figure out how to get in this place. That would be pretty dope. <laughs> totally, that's how I would have my store. If I owned a puzzle store, I'd make it a puzzle just figuring out how to get in here, which honestly, I feel like it is. I'm not even kidding you. Is there like a, Okay, maybe, are they open? Maybe they're closed. Ah, oh, are they closed? Yeah, or maybe they're on lunch break. I don't know. You know, they should be open, but this is it. They're closed, though. Bummer. I don't see any signs, though, seeing if they're going to be back or anything. So maybe they just closed and, or they just, no, I think if they went to lunch, they'd have something on here. And it looks like, look at, UPS has been here. So maybe they've been closed for a bit. Huh. And you guys are going to enjoy that if you didn't check it out the last time we were here. But if you ever get a chance, this is where we're going to head to. And maybe next time we're here in Burke, we'll be able to come in here and check it out. But uh, what I was reading online, it looked like a really cool store. Like I said, they have puzzles, 
uh, you know, your regular puzzles, puzzles from all sorts, all sorts of different puzzles from all sorts of different parts of the world. And then most, well, what was really cool about it was they allowed you to, you know, play with a lot of and interact with a lot of the puzzles. And they have different skill levels, too. They have, that's how they have all the puzzles laid out is depending on the skill level. All right, so let's walk over to this Breaking Bad store. There's a place in Hollywood they have doorknobs all over in this square room that only one of the doorknobs opens up into the restaurant. Hey, that's cool. Uh, they've got a speakeasy, not like that, but it's a one where you, um, pretty much the way you get in is you gotta get a reservation. And when you get the reservation, they give you the secret code. And when you get to the building, it's like, I think it's not tricky to find the door, but there's actually a um, a uh, little like, you know, where they slide the little thing and you got to have the code and then they let you in. Then, if I'm not mistaken, they have another place here where, and if that's the case, I might take you guys. It's like a restaurant, but to get into it, you go, it's like in a gas station and you actually open one of the free, it's, you know, you know how they have the stand up coolers or freezers in the gas station where you sell the drinks. Well, it's like that, but when you open up the stand-up cooler, it opens up into the restaurant. I think that's here. Then they also got Meow Wolf. You know what I mean? That's in Santa Fe. I was thinking about going up there. I can take the train. The train's not very expensive, and uh, that would be a fun ride. Meow Wolf's expensive, though. It's like $25 or $35 a ticket, but it's a badass place. It's an interactive art museum and the guy that owns it or is one of the creators of it is uh what's his name uh, it's like jay case i don't know he's got a interesting very unique name but he's the guy that wrote the uh the series the book series um game of thrones you know the one that they made the very popular series out of tv series but uh, they've got one of those in vegas and the original one meow wolf is the one they opened uh here in uh, Santa Fe, not here, we're here in Albuquerque. What are these things here? I never saw these. They talk about these? Huh. Sorry, let me get out of your picture. Um, huh, I was hoping they had a little history about those cannons. A completely dark restaurant in Vegas. Wow, that's interesting. That reminds me of when I remember when we went to eat at that restaurant at the Pirates of Caribbeans in Disneyland. And it was like, you're eating, I don't know if you guys have ever been on that ride, but it's that, you know, at the beginning where it's dark and that's where they have the restaurant. And it's like, I remember you couldn't see shit. And I was like, what the hell? How do you even? <laughs> but I was a youngster back then. Maybe it was like supposed to be like a... Uh, you know, like a restaurant you bring dates on and that was part of the atmosphere, but we were just hungry and so we just ate there. But I remember I couldn't see shit. But it was cool. Alright. I believe the Breaking Bad store is down here. Now, I remember when we were down here. I don't know if I had trouble with the data. Um, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We'll find out. I guess you'll let me know if the data gets cut in and out because of the building. Ooh. Let's see, what do we have here? Sample of bee pollen black. Buy blended together in a jar or separately, iced with oat milk. Absolutely. I'll try some. The waiters were okay. Night okay, that's kind of starting a little bit interesting. some of this so it's iced with oat milk and this is bee pollen black high caffeine all right let's try this i really have no clue what i'm about to drink i think it's bee pollen is what it says but i think it's mixed into a beverage with oatmeal iced with oatmeal i have no clue it sounds fancy but here you go cheers i mean that kind of sounds a little interesting now you know what i mean then it doesn't sound but Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Interesting. 
I really have no clue what the hell I drink. Oh, it's a tea. So I guess it's like a bee tea. A bee tea. They do, oh, they got all sorts of teas here. Wow. I'm not a tea person, but damn if I was. All right. Here we go to the Breaking Bad store. Down the hatch. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I was honestly expecting it to be kind of nasty. When's this? Oh, hey, to my Albuquerque friends, I heard they're going to have a sick 420 festival out on the Civic Plaza. So I'm planning on coming if, well, I don't know. I might be out of town and I might not. But if I am here in the state of New Mexico, I probably am going to come down to the uh, 420 celebration they're having out on the plaza. It's free. Looks like it's going to be a huge event. What's this? April 20th. Is that 420? Oh, this is on 422. Maybe this is part of Oh, this is an old town. Oh, wow. They're going to have a lot of shit going on on 420. Well, hell. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Breaking Bad store. So I think last time we came here, I didn't have very good signal, but let's see. Maybe that changed. What's all this stuff? <laughs> Look at this sign. Yo, bitch, here's the skinny. No public restrooms. Restrooms are located in the Plaza Don Luis. No food, drink. Please respect the museum. Do not touch wardrobe and props. The Breaking Bad store is not affiliated with the Breaking Bad RV tours. The two are separate companies. That's church, yo. They're really good. Yeah, they've got all sorts of stuff here, man. If you guys didn't join me the last time we were here, you are in for an experience. The one thing I've not done yet is one of the Breaking Bad tours. I think I want to try one of these. 420 was canceled this year in San Fran. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That sounds like it'd be fun. Why did they cancel it? Any specific reason? All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Yeah, every time I come here, I'm always just like, boop. So this is just the, what they sell, their merchandise, okay? Wait till we go into where you've got the collectibles and the props. So if you're blown by this, you haven't even seen anything yet. And I hate coming in here because, man, if I had 100 bucks, I would go, well... We we're working the simulation, so we can't use it here, but we'd have to use it for gas money. But boy, oh boy, do they have a lot of cool stuff here. Wow, these are unique. What's cool about here is they sell a lot of unique pieces from a lot of different local artists. Um, so that's cool. They support local artists. Like, watch, I'll tell you right now, I like this one right here. It's got Walter's hat. I want to be very careful with it. So it looks like they're about 20 bucks. That's cool right there. These are glass. So I guess that's uh, color. Do you guys remember the bell? That's cool. That's really cool. The masks. What's this one? Tight. Oh my God. Dude. Dude. You know who this is for right here, right? Ski, if you're watching, dude, if they ever have COVID come back again, here's your face mask right here, dude. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> I like this one right here. Of a kind, but... Oh, the cups are badass. Oh, these are cool. 